Nebraska's Creative District program started during the 2020 legislative session as a way to fund the arts in various communities. Last year, McCook received that designation from the Nebraska Arts Council. In this segment, Grace McDonald explores the Creative District in McCook. Historically, McCook has always been a place where creatives can make and appreciate art, with a theater, museum, a library, and even an art guild. These places are just a fraction of the community's creative district. The Nebraska Arts Council awarded the distinction to McCook in October of 2023. It was a natural fit for McCook because McCook has an unusual amount of arts for a rural community. It took over two years and many volunteers to make this happen, including the McCook Arts Council, the McCook Community Foundation Fund, and the Graff Charitable Foundation. It really just helped us realize the assets that we already had in McCook and then how we can build on them. The 19th Creative District stretches from north of the McCook City Library to the train depot. At its center is Norris Alley and a unique mural called Ethereal Prairie. There's a lot of symbolism in our, in our mural. We thought it was kind of more of a dreamlike state. The buffalo is the school mascot. The big blue tapestry is the Ogallala Aquifer. The hands belong to George Norris, a senator who brought electricity to rural areas. Uh, and the fossils and the things in the, in the riverbeds, um, it's kind of representing, you know, the disappearance of some of the animals across, uh, across history in this area. The McCook Creative District pays homage to the community's history and traditions. But it's the art and galleries like this one that give the district new life by featuring local artists and artists from outside of the state and country. The Art Bank used to be an actual bank and an office building, but now it displays rotating exhibits of contemporary art. You know, you don't have to go to New York City or Los Angeles or even Lincoln or Omaha or, or Denver to experience contemporary art. Like, it can happen right here. Another gallery is at the top of the Keystone Business Center, the sixth floor project. The repurposed space offers a glimpse into the private collection of two major art enthusiasts. If I would have seen this as a kid, my already apparent love of art would have skyrocketed. I'm just thankful that it's here now and for the, the kids that, that have the opportunity to have it here. Aside from the galleries, the Creative District encompasses so much more. So we would like people to take the train, walk around downtown McCook for 48 hours and experience our Creative District to just get a taste of McCook. Community partners hope the distinction will boost their economy and pride in McCook. For Pure Nebraska, I'm Grace McDonald.